Hey everyone, welcome to Kabuto. This is Kabuto's main page, the Devices page. Here you can see every single device that you've installed the Windows application on. For each device, you can see the various triggers that alert both you and your client if an issue arises. For example, you can see here that Ian Alexander doesn't have an antivirus installed. If you click View, you'll see related information about that trigger. Under Information, we can see system information about that particular device. On the Customer tab, you can change the contact information for the client so when they request service from you, you can know who to contact. Here on Settings, you can choose which of the triggers will actually prompt the client so you can tailor the alerts to their needs and ensure that the alerts don't get bothersome. This is the Requests page. Here you can see all the requests that clients have made and see information about the requests. You can use this page to get in touch with the client and help them out. On the settings page, you can find your API key for adding the Windows application to a client machine. You can also configure your email settings. With Kabuto, you can receive an email every time a request is made by a client, or you can simply receive a daily summary email that shows all the requests that have been made that day. This is where you can configure your custom branding so you can add your own logo that the client will see on the application or the icon that is displayed in the system tray. Also, this is where you can edit the contact info for your shop. This is the information that the client sees when they make a request so they can know who they're requesting help from. The payment area here is where you can update your billing info and your Kabuto plan. If you find yourself needing help in understanding Kabuto, just click the help link and it will take you to our help center, where you can find info about Kabuto down here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add a device to Kabuto. First, we're going to go to our Kabuto Online dashboard and click the Add Device button up here in the top right corner. This will download the installer and it will look like this. Here, you can enter the client's information so when they're having issues, you can contact them. Enter the company name, the client name, their email, and their phone number. Then choose the install path you want to use. Go ahead and click next and you can choose which triggers will show alerts to the client when they go off. You can also choose if you want monitoring on this computer. Next click install and it will install everything for you and you'll be good to go. Once installed, Kabuto will check for issues immediately and report to the dashboard if it finds anything. On your dashboard, you'll see that the device is already there, and if there are any issues, the corresponding trigger will be read. If a client decides to request service, they simply click here, and they'll be presented with a form like this, with your custom branding and your information. Well, there you have it. That's Kabuto. You can check it out and sign up at kabuto.io, or if you have any questions for us, feel free to contact us at support at repairtechsolutions.com.